right climbing to the top of what I'm reliably informed is called Ensign Peak, not Ensign Peak. I would refer to it as Ensign Peak. It's not quite as tough as the one in Boise, but then I'm not as tough as I was in Boise. So thought I'd keep it simple. No, I'm kidding. Uh, the views from the top are incredibly nice and that's why I'm going up there. So let's do this. Well, I think I'm about a quarter of the way up already, and this is apparently the view, not like the TV show with Whoopi Goldberg, uh, a different uh, view, because you can see this already. Uh, it's not quite the highest up. We're hoping to go a bit higher and uh, see more stuff. Sorry, the sun's behind me, so I don't want to blind you. It's blinding me now. I'm sacrificing for my art. Hope you know that. Let's get going. I'm going to pick up my bag and keep moving and uh, see if I can see... Tulsa, you can't, it's too foggy, it's too far away. Uh, so I think uh, nature hates me in the West. Uh, when I was in San Francisco, a seagull shat on me at Alcatraz. And today, at the top of Ensign Peak, uh, a wasp stung me. Uh, really mean. Um, I know he's trying to make a living, but when that living is my right leg, I have to have problems with it. Compared to bees, it got the better end of the deal because it didn't, of course, die. And uh, got to live. Anyway, it got away and I, I no doubt it told all of its wasp friends that it stung a YouTube sensation star person, normal, regular person, up on the mountain and uh, and laughed about it over a couple of beers. Thank you for watching this episode of Lost in the Pond. Don't forget to hit my stupid little face to subscribe and please share this video with the world. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and if you would like to support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash lostinthepond.